my name is Judith Varga. I'm a Hungarian uh, clay artist. I'm coming from Hungary. I live in the States in the last 20 years. And um, I finished my studies back in Hungary, in Budapest, in um, Applied Art Academy in clay. And I'm working full time in the last six years here. I'm doing shows and exhibitions. It's, it's strange, actually it's strange how people come and, uh, and the comments what I get back here, yeah, it's amazing and I really like that. First of all, they come and they ask what is this made out of? And uh, at first I, I thought this is not good because I'm killing the clay and I, maybe I don't use the clay in a, in a right way. But I think a lot of people have some expectation how clay should look like. When they see something different, then, then they suddenly don't know what to do with it. That's what I like, that people have to come close, they want to touch it, they want to talk about it, like, oh, I like that, it reminds me this and that. So I like the conversation and like when people draw into the piece and not just walk by and, you know. So it's, it's, I have a very good feedback here in the show and I really like it. I'm very happy to be here at the ACC show. My method of working with clay is, um, I fully embrace the material and I want to uh, do everything on the wet stage. You know, when you, once you fired clay, it became ceramics, it became another material. And I try to work with it only when it's in a clay form. So all of my colors and surfaces done on a wet clay. I apply slips and angles and um, several layers, layering up the, the depth of the color or the patterns and then uh, cutting up to strips or make slabs and, and just build up my form. And once I fire it, mostly my pieces are already done. So uh, I rarely add anything after the firing. It's emerged, sometimes it's, it's in a bad way. <laughs> so I have, I have a lot of uh, reject because I want to capture that moment when it's just right. And sometimes it's, it's, it's just not happening. So um, most of my pieces, um, I, I at least have like 50% reject after the kiln um, and then sometimes that rejected pieces can be part of later on on another piece somehow it just it just works together for me working with the wet clay and those moment what was the wet, wet clay um, can give me uh, in the quiet studio when I'm working at uh, I try to capture that and sometimes it's I'm lucky, sometimes I'm not, you know, it's as much as I try to be the boss of this game between me and the clay, uh, sometimes it just the clay takes over and I just, you know, sometimes I'm lucky and I find something nice, sometimes I just have to uh, try, start it over and that's, that's the beauty in the game.